Hello folks, this is Mark Wilson. I am founder of AccuModel, where we inspire confidence in hydraulic modeling. This tutorial video is a, another one in a series of tutorials that correspond with the EPANET user's manual. This one corresponds with section 2.6 on saving and opening projects. So this is a real quick one. The save and, and import export tools are all over here under the file menu. We can do a save as once we get our network built and we can just go ahead and give it a name. .NET is the file extension. Just note that that's a binary file, meaning that you can't open it with Notepad text editor. Okay. I've already saved it as that, but uh, that's fine. If you do want to f see what the contents are, then you'll need to go ahead and export that. So we've got three different types here. We can do map, and that gives either a text file description of the geometry. A, we can do it as a meta file. That would be just an image, or we can do it as a vector graphics, like an AutoCAD type file that exchange type is DXF, and then we have some options here. The main one we're going to, where the, the user guide focuses on, other than the .NET format, though, is network. We'll cover scenarios in a future video, so I'm just going to go ahead and export this one as a .inp file. Now we can go ahead and open that up with just our notepad or some other text editor. And we can look in it and kind of see how this type of text representation is organized. Pretty simple, their different sections are annotated by the name of the section in brackets. Anyway, you can look through that. I'll do another video on this later that goes more in depth to this. This, however, would be a good time to give a little plug for AccuModel. We are experts at building hydraulic models and maintaining them for clients, both utilities and consultants. We are also very good at converting CAD to GIS and cleaning up GIS for use with hydraulic models. So if you would like to talk to us about those services, go ahead and contact us. Our contact info is on the website. Also, we'll be coming out with a product called INP View that will take this type of text file, a .inp file, You'll be able to open that up and run it from a web browser. It'd be a pretty cool interface, so look for that as well. Anyway, good luck in your modeling, and subscribe to the channel, and watch the rest of the videos in the tutorial playlist, and good luck in your modeling.